Some daycares and preschools require their students to be potty trained and they also might have some other rules and regulations around potty training and or accidents. But what do you do when your child is having issues with potty training at daycare or preschool and you're not sure what to do? You know I have you covered. So hopefully you're watching this before you jump into potty training. And if you are, definitely grab my course, Potty Party The Course. It's going to help you potty train your child quickly and easily the first time. And of course, I cover all the information you need to know about daycare and preschool. But I kind of have a suspicion that if you landed on this video, it's because you're probably already dealing with issues with potty training and preschools and daycares. Now, as a prerequisite, disclaimer, whatever you want to call it, some daycares and some preschools are really, really great about potty training and helping your child any way that is needed, and others are a little more strict, I guess we could say. They may or may not be very flexible about potty training accidents, and they might just require your child to be 100% accident free or they cannot come to school, which we're talking about toddlers here, of course they're gonna have accidents. That's a story for another day. But what you should definitely do before you even potty train is talk to the daycare center about potty training. What are their rules? What are their regulations? What do they do about accidents? What do they do about nap time? Do they schedule potty breaks for the entire class or do they just take kids as they say they need to go to the bathroom? How is all of that going to work in your child's specific classroom? That stuff is really important to know before you jump into potty training because if you're going to have a classroom environment that is very conducive to potty training and they're there to help you, then I would say, you know, jump right into it and potty train knowing that school is going to help you however they need to. But if you have kind of have a school on the other end of the spectrum and they say, we can't help your child in the bathroom, we can't wipe for them, we can't help them pull up or down their pants, we can't, like, we're hands off, they have to do it on their own, then you may want to wait a little bit longer to potty train in the first place. Depending on the state that you live in, some states actually have rules that they can't help children in the bathroom. That's just the way that it is in some places, especially if you're in a designated preschool as opposed to a child care center. They have different regulations, so it's important to know these things before you jump into potty training. Now, if you've already potty trained and you're getting reports of several accidents happening at school, the first thing that you should do is sit down with your child's teacher and either the center director or the school principal or whatever director or head of operations you have at your child's facility. Now, what this is going to do is get everyone on the same page with what is going on. It's important to kind of have all these people coming together to help support your child and to help create a plan Plan to kind of combat these accidents and get on the other side of them. Something that really helps kids is having their parent take them to the bathroom at their school, in their classroom, wherever it may be, and having their parent take them to the bathroom to kind of build their confidence using a different toilet than what they have at home. So if your center or facility allows parents in the classroom, ask if you can bring your child to the bathroom before you leave at drop off time in the morning. You also want to discuss using potty time sign language with your child and or a potty pass. So these are definitely things that I talk about in my potty training course, which you can grab in the description box down below. And we can talk about all the things that have to do with potty time sign language and using a potty pass for your child to physically hand to their teacher when they need to go to the bathroom. Sometimes at school, kids are nervous that they're going to lose their place if they're playing in a certain center and they think that if they go to the bathroom, they're not gonna be able to go back to that place. So during your meeting with your child's teacher, make sure that they are allowed to go back to the place that they were at when they need to go to the bathroom. You can also talk to your child's teacher about implementing a reward system for your child at school. You can tell them, this is what we used at home, this is what works for us at home, can I bring this in and can you implement it in the classroom? It's generally not very time consuming for a teacher to give your child a sticker when they go to the bathroom instead of having an accident. So implementing a reward system at school 
school is a great idea. However, if they say no, that they can't do that for one student because they're not doing it for all students, then ask them to give you daily updates every single day so that you know if your child has had accidents or not at school and you can reward them at home. Another important thing to ask your daycare or preschool, whichever it may be, ask them what other peers in the class are doing. Is there peer support? Are they encouraging each other to go to the bathroom? I personally used to teach in a classroom where our main focus was potty training. That is what I did all day long, constantly taking kids to the bathroom and teaching them how to use it. And seeing them interact with each other and encourage each other to use the potty it was amazing and so many kids would actually potty train faster because they had the encouragement of their peers. So definitely check and see if it's something that they can talk about as a class or something even the teacher can just say, hey Susie, uh, I know your friend Billy goes to the bathroom all the time, I just want you to know everybody in our class is going to use the potty at some point or another so there's nothing to be nervous about. Once you've had this meeting and you've discussed all these things with your child's teacher, it's important to have it all written down and laid out so that everyone is physically on the same page, knows exactly what the plan is, and that it can be carried through throughout the day. Especially if your child is in a daycare facility where there may be different teachers in the classroom at different times of the day, it's important that everyone knows what they need to do for your child's potty training experience. If you still have questions about this topic or any potty training topic, you can click the link in the description box down below to set up a mini consultation with me. You can set up a call to ask me anything about potty training and we will be able to talk through any issues together. I hope that you learned a lot from this video. If you need more potty training help, check out this playlist over here. Click this button to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single video and keep blooming. Mwah.